The pistol is essentially a one-legged squat. So you want to keep that other leg straight out in front of you, which can often be the most challenging part of this motion. Notice how the hip, knee, and ankle all stay in line here. You don't want the knee to come inward or there to be a lot of shifting of body weight. In order to build yourself up to this, try doing it assisted with a TRX or just holding on to something here. That way you can make sure you're getting in the right position, stabilizing with the hip, and getting that deep knee flexion here. Your body weight should be stacked mostly over the middle of your foot. If you're using the TRX, you don't wanna sit your weight way back with your shin vertical here, because that's not really gonna be training you in the right way for the pistol. You can also do the pistol as a one-legged box squat here to a bench. And this is a good way to start off if you can't really get that deep knee flexion. You can start with a higher bench or chair and gradually work your way down. But when you're working on these, really shoot for having a lot of control through the movement, especially on the way down. You can even just do eccentrics here, where you're just sitting down to the bench and then you can use both legs to stand up. A lateral step down is really the first step to practicing the pistol movement. So if you can master this, then you can progress towards the one-legged box squat, then the TRX assisted pistol, and then work towards full-on pistols. So notice here again, how the hip, knee, ankle, all are stacked in line. And notice also how the pelvis isn't dropping on one side to reach towards the ground. 